we turn to developing news in the VA hospital scandal. Tonight, the Veterans Affairs Agency is under new leadership following the resignation of embattled Secretary Eric Shinseki late this morning. It was breaking news on Eyewitness News at noon. Tonight, we're hearing from Rhode Island's two senators about Shinseki stepping down. Eyewitness News reporter Jared Pliner is live in the newsroom with more. <clears throat> That's right, Shannon. Shinseki stepped down amid scathing allegations of delayed care and cover-ups at several VA hospitals. VA Secretary Eric Shinseki is out of a job after a morning meeting with President Obama. A few minutes ago, Secretary Shinseki offered me his own resignation. The president said he accepted the resignation with regret, but it was Secretary Shinseki's decision. He would be a distraction from the task at hand, uh, which is to make sure that What's broken gets fixed. The task at hand involves fixing widespread problems inside the VA medical system. Whistleblowers say hospital administrators ordered staff to lie about wait times in order to boost pay and bonuses. As many as 40 veterans at the Phoenix VA facility may have died while waiting for care. The misconduct has not been limited to a few VA facilities, uh, but many across the country. President Obama had already ordered Secretary Shinseki not to wait for the final reports on the VA problems and to take immediate action to address the issues. Shinseki outlined those steps at a conference Friday morning and apologized. I can't explain the lack of integrity among some of the leaders of our health care facilities. And so I will not defend it because it is indefensible. But I can take responsibility, responsibility for it. And I do. Rhode Island Senator Jack Reed calls the situation at the Phoenix VA appalling and says anyone who took part in covering up wait times should be prosecuted. On Friday, Reed praised Shinseki's long service to the country, but said Shinseki made the right decision to step aside. I think he came to the appropriate conclusion that uh, he could not uh, personally be the best uh, leader of the VA to fix this situation. It must be fixed. Meanwhile, Senator Sheldon Whitehouse said Friday he looked forward to new leadership at the VA. He also said he's heard nothing but praise for the Providence VA Hospital. Veterans who get their care there regularly are quick to come to its defense and there have been no allegations made about the Providence VA Hospital. It has cleared its audit. And Congressman David Cicilline also weighed in, saying in a statement he was relieved to hear that Shinseki had stepped aside. Meanwhile, it has been announced that Deputy Secretary Sloan Gibson will take over as acting secretary of the VA. Live in the newsroom, I'm Jared Pletter, Eyewitness News.